Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here. I was kindly asked to uh, start making videos of the exit tickets from a young lady in sixth grade. I don't even know where she's from. Um, she's not one of my students. And I am really happy that there are people that are not in my classroom looking at these videos. So I have decided to do exit ticket solutions as well for this Miss Roxy. So this is for you, Roxy. All right, lesson one. Positive and negative numbers on the number line. Opposite direction and value. Exit ticket. If zero lies between A and D, give one set of possible values for A, B, C, and D. Okay, so let me talk about the word between for starters. If I am between A and D and I am on A, I am not between A and D. If I am on D, I am not between D. I am really picky with vocabulary in math. If I had my hand hidden behind my back and I said, pick a number between one and five that I'm holding up, if someone said one or if someone said five, that is not between one and five. We often make that mistake. If, so if you're going to use all five fingers or digits, if you will, and you're holding them behind your back and you want to include one and five, then you should say pick a number between zero and six. Because between does not mean even So let's get rid of those dots. If zero lies between A, D, A and D, so I'm going to do something here and I'm going to explain. There are there are multiple answers to this. I could put zero here, 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 or here. Okay? So I'm going to start with putting zero here, and I'm going to draw a scale. Okay, and I'm going to try to continue the same distance and there's a reason I'm doing this. Okay, too long there for that to be a different piece. So I'm going to pause this. Here. Okay, so let me explain this. See how this is moving around? Oh, I like it. It kind of lines up. So if I did my number line there, A has to be between, or zero has to be between A and D. So zero is between A and D right now. So if I put it like this, then my answers would be A is negative one, B is two, C is four, D is seven. Okay, you understand that? But I could also have put zero here. See what's happening? The number of scale is moving. So if I had put zero here, now A is negative two, B is one, C is three, D is six. I'm not gonna go through all of these, but I hope you get the idea. So if you wanna pause the video and check, see if your answers are right. If you made B zero, this, these would be your answers here. So actually what I should have done is make these numbers. Now I can't, because they would've moved. Okay, and then here, negative four, negative one, one, four. If I made that, here, A, B, negative 5, B, negative 2, C, 0, D, 3. If I did it here, A would be negative 6, B would be negative 3, C would be negative 1, D would be 2. And finally here, A would be negative 7, B would be negative 4, C would be negative 2, and D would be 1. So there are answers will vary on that. Now, okay? All right, let's move on. Number 2. Number two says, below is a list of numbers in order from least to greatest. Use what you know about the number line to complete the list of numbers by filling in the blanks with the missing integers. So these are integers, positive and negative numbers, not including fractions and decimals and irrationals. So between negative five and negative three is negative four. Between negative one and one is zero. Between two and four is three. And between four and six is five. Number three, complete the number line scale explain and show how to find two in the opposite of two on the number line. So I would say two is to the right of zero. A distance of two units. Okay. Okay, 
2 is to the right of 0, a distance of 2 units. So that's how I found 2. So now I'm going to put a dot there. There's 2. And in the opposite of 2 on the number line. Well, since 2 is 2 units to the right, then the opposite has to be 2 units to the left because we're the same distance from 0. So I have to go 1, 2 to the left. So there's the opposite of 2, which is negative 2. Okay? So I'm just going to say this. You can watch CC if you want to see what I'm saying. To find the opposite, you go the same distance from 0 to the left instead of to the right. Okay? So there is exit ticket 